Hi guys, this video is on the uh, Casio FX570 EX and um, of course I'll be uh, showing you guys how to do quadratic factorization on this calculator. All right, um, so let's start with the uh, questions here. Uh, these are the same questions I've used in my earlier videos. Please have a look at those to get a better understanding of how to put those numbers into the uh, brackets correctly. Okay, so this is going to be a very quick and brief video just to show you guys how to work this calculator. So first uh, menu, uh, you see we've got a brand new uh, set of icons over here. Uh, to enter into the factorization function, we press alpha, that's over here, alpha, and then A, A is over here, if you can't see, it's also the negative button, so that's alpha A, and we are looking for number two, polynomial, so number two, the degree of course is two for quadratic factorization, so that's two, okay, then those are the uh, empty spaces we have to uh, fill in, so first one, A is one, B is six, and C is negative 27, so I type 1 equal B6, six, so 6 equal to negative 27, hang on, that's negative 27 equal to and equal to again, so I get 3, okay? So this means uh, my first bracket would be X minus 3 equal again, I get negative 9, which means X plus 9. Okay. Now again, if you guys are confused about how I use this uh, or put the numbers into the bracket, please watch the uh, previous video to uh, get a better understanding of that. Alright, so now I type AC again for the second question. A is 1, so 1 equal. B is negative 8, so negative 8 equal. C is 16, so 1, 6 and then equal. Okay, equal one more time. I get four, but this time there's only x. There's no x1, there's no x2, which tells us that both brackets happen to be the same. They both have the same number, but because the number is four, I'm going to write x minus four and x minus four. Okay, I forgot to mention earlier that those two are the same brackets, which means I can also write this way, x minus four, bracket square. Okay, as for the third one, AC there, so A6, equal b17 equal and oh hang on sorry it's not 16 it's 17 so i'm gonna go back 17 equal and then after that i've got five so five equal all right and then equal again so i've got negative one over three the denominator is three which means i write three x negative one becomes plus one equal again, that's 2, 2x, two negative 5, so it's plus 5, okay? And the fourth one here, so AC again, 4 for A, negative 13, okay, and 17, 1, 7, equal, okay, equal again. Uh, notice how we've got an I over here, okay, it looks a bit weird, but what this means is that this is an imaginary number. That means this expression here, well, this quadratic expression has got no factors, so no brackets, okay? Now, as for the uh, simultaneous solution, same equation we have here, but uh, this time I'm gonna tap menu again, alpha, A once more, but this time we're looking for simultaneous equation. So that's number one. A number of unknowns will be two because I've got M and N, so I press 2, okay, so look, first row and second row, all right? So for the first row, I've got 5, 3, 7. So 5 equal 3 equal 7 equal, done, first row. Second row, I've got 1, negative 6 and 8. So 1 equal, negative 6 equal, 8 equal, all right? Now I press equal again, I've got x equal to, of course, it will give us x, but our question is m, so m equals 2, again one more time, and n is equal to negative 1, all right, so m and n. Now guys, please uh, play around with your calculator and uh, try to get familiar with it because your exams are just around the corner and you definitely do not want to be caught off guard not knowing how to use your calculator, all right, so until next time, ta-ta, bye-bye.